This is Daz of the Cameraman. Today is Friday the 9th of May and we're down at the observatory with the Mead Alex 200 14 inch telescope. Here it is and uh, obviously it's night time so it's uh, rather dark and here we do have the lights on. We'll be turning the red lights on, on in a moment and we'll be doing some photography through the telescope. We've got the Canon EOS 60DA attached to the scope and we've got it aimed at the moon at the moment and if I pan up and we can see there's the moon in the sky so we're going to go looking for new craters this is the go-to controller on the LX200 uh, this is the device that we use to select the object that we're viewing push the go-to button and uh, the telescope will slew and go and find the object automatically Okay, this is Daz of the Cameraman. Again, tonight is uh, Friday the 9th of May 2014 and I'm at the observatory with the Mead Alex 200 14 inch telescope and uh, we're filming live through the telescope with the Canon EOS 60DA and uh, this is the area of the moon in question that uh, Dark Sky Watcher believes was impacted by uh, something creating some new craters. Now I've taken some still images on this camera using the 18 megapixel uh, photos and uh, now we're taking some high definition video. So um, as I say this is the area in question but the actual site that's been marked out by Dark Sky Watcher as being the impact area is in the shadow currently. And uh, it's going to be in, in shadow for the next uh, night or two um, but it's really not going to be in a good viewing position to uh, compare uh, before and after until the 18th of May when the moon's phase is back to the same as it was on the 20th of March. On the 20th of March the moon was 18.25 days old. Okay I just had to wait for a noisy aircraft to fly over and uh, we're, so we're back to the moon now and uh, I'm just going to move the telescope about so we can get a good look at the moon as we go. So we can see there's a little bit of light cloud passing over the moon tonight. The conditions are very still otherwise on the ground. Uh, there's no uh, wind to shake the camera. Uh, so we've got fairly good viewing conditions for the moon. So we're just after first quarter we're, we're approaching full moon which will be on the 15th of May. Now the thing to remember too is that uh, at the moment the sunlight is actually coming in from a different direction, the opposite direction as to what it was on the 20th of March. This will make a big difference to the way that the craters appear because the shadows will be cast differently. Now I'm going to switch to um, crop video mode which will give us a closer look at these craters. Okay, we're in crop movie mode now, uh, so it's not high definition, but it takes us in a lot closer. And uh, we've actually got some cloud that's coming over at the moment as well, so we're actually losing some of the seeing conditions. But uh, you can see how clear, how close we can get into these craters as we go. So I can only show a much smaller area at a time, but you can see just how close that we can get in there with the scope. So I'll be following up on this uh, around about the 18th of May when the moon is on day 18 of the phase, same as it was on the 20th of March. And we'll be looking for these supposed impact craters.